Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you how to move to a new phone. I mean, how to transfer all the data from the old phone to the new one. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Sooner or later, everyone has to buy a new smartphone or change from an old gadget to a new one. The main question all of us face in the process is how to transfer all contacts, photos, videos and app settings from the old phone to the new gadget. If you're looking for the answer, this is the right video to watch at the right time. Today, there are lots of ways to move data from one phone to another, and it's actually as simple so that it takes just a few steps. Even if your older phone is not a smartphone, never mind, as long as it has Bluetooth, everything will be hunky-dory. Now let's get down to business. Let's start with transferring the most important part – contacts. And you can also take along software and settings too. You can do it all with the help of your Google account. On your old phone, enable the options for backup and automatic restore. The first function backs up current settings and data for all the software installed on this phone. And the second function restores settings for the applications which you reinstall later. Open the phone's settings and turn these two functions on. Settings – Backup and Reset – Backup data – Enable – and Automatic restore here. Now take the new phone, open the settings, accounts, then tap add account, enter the username and password. Just as you sign into your account from the new Android smartphone, it will receive and apply all the settings you had on the older gadget. You can select what applications to restore, while other data to be transferred includes all phone book information, Gmail stuff and events in your calendar. Contacts can also be moved from one device to another using a SIM card and a memory card. The first method will be relevant if you keep all your contacts on a SIM card. This tiny bit of plastic will probably go into the new phone in any case. If your contacts are stored in the phone's memory, move them to the SIM card. To do it, open Contacts and tap on this menu. In my case, it looks like three dots. In the menu, select Import, Export and specify where to export data. Select SIM card and agree. Here is an important point to consider. A SIM card can hold no more than 200 phone numbers, so if you have more contacts, try another method instead. For example, export them to a memory card if you have one. In the same contacts menu, select the option to export to a memory card. Now insert the memory card into the new phone, choose the option to import from the memory card and select the corresponding file. If your smartphone doesn't support memory cards, you can send such file by Bluetooth. Open any file explorer and use it to transfer the phone book file you have just created. If you need to transfer big files like films or music, copy them to the computer. To do it, connect the old phone to the computer with a cable, copy the files to the computer, then connect the new phone and copy the necessary data from the computer to the new gadget. Visit our channel for a detailed video tutorial about copying data from a phone to a PC, and you can find the link in the description below. Now let's discuss moving photos and videos. There are lots of services able to sync your data automatically with the cloud storage. For example, Google Photos, Google Drive, Dropbox and branded cloud services like MeDrop, which I'm using. If your phone is configured for automatic synchronization with one of these services, you don't need to copy anything. Just sign in to the storage service to find all your photos and videos there. If syncing is off, you can enable it for the old device Wait until the data is uploaded to the cloud, then open the cloud storage on the new device and download any photos or videos you may need. To turn synchronization on, start the program, open the settings and enable backup and synchronization. To transfer SMS, you need a third-party tool. If you have important SMS you'd like to keep on the new device, use one of the specialized utilities. Visit Play Store to find numerous offers, for example, SMS Backup and Restore. In a few steps, it can help you transfer an SMS archive from the old phone to the new one. 
and do it in a matter of minutes. In addition, there are tons of third-party utilities to help you move any data from one phone to another. I'll illustrate the work with the example of a tool called Clonet. Install it to both devices and launch it. Then turn Wi-Fi on and tap to Send on the old phone and tap to Receive on the new phone. Wait until the smartphones get connected. Select the files you need to send and tap the corresponding button to confirm your choice. With this tool, you can transfer contacts, call register, apps, SMS, photos and music, system settings, wallpapers, and more. When the transfer process is over, all the data will appear on the new phone. If you want to change to a new phone and worry about all your chats and messengers, transferring them to a new device is not that difficult either. Let me show it with a few popular apps. The first one is WhatsApp, and there are two ways to choose from. One with changing to a new phone number and the other with retaining the same phone number you used to have before. If you transfer data without changing the phone number, export the messenger data to Google Drive and then recover it to the new device. Open the menu, select Settings, move to Chats, Chat Backup. Scroll down to the Google account line. It must display your email address. If this address is not displayed, Enable authentication with Google Drive and allow the app to access your data by tapping Allow. Now everything is ready to export data. Just tap on the green backup button and wait until your data is saved. The next step is to prepare the new device for receiving the saved information. First of all, sign into the same Google account that you use on the old phone if you haven't done it yet. Besides, if you already have What's up on the new gadget? Remove and reinstall it. Now you can sign in to WhatsApp using your phone number, which you didn't change. When asked to search for a backup and access contacts and files, touch Next and Allow. If you did everything right, there will be a notification that a backup was found. The last step is tapping the green button to recover data from this backup. In case you changed both the smartphone and the phone number, here is what you should do. In contrast with the previous variant, you should use the function Change Number before you back up your data to the cloud storage. On your old phone, start WhatsApp and open the section Account in the Settings menu. Select the line Change Number. You will see a form where you need to type the old and the new number. When you confirm the number, an SMS containing the code will arrive to the new phone number. Type this code into the corresponding field on the old phone. That's all. Your number has been changed. Now just back up the messenger's data to transfer it to the new device. And this is something I have shown you a few minutes ago. In Viber, transferring chat history from one phone to another has become much easier than it used to be. Developers took much effort to ensure that moving to a new device doesn't mean losing all your chats. Open the Settings menu, Account, Viber Backup. To enjoy the Chat Backup option, you need to connect to your Google Drive. To do it, tap the link below to change the settings. Select the account you are going to use for connecting and tap OK. Allow the app to manage data on Google Drive. If everything was done in the right way, you will be redirected to Viber Backup option again. Tap Backup. Wait until the app does it. Now download Viber to the new device, install it and enter your data. Open the same settings and connect to Google Drive. Tap Restore. Tap Restore now to confirm recovering all your chats. However, it only covers text messages, while media files may be lost. And this is the data that people often want to keep. If you need such media files too, they should be saved separately. So, open a file manager on your old device and find the Viber folder. Inside it, look for a folder with the name Media that contains all media files of this app, sorted by type into three corresponding folders. Now use any of the methods I mentioned before to transfer specific files or entire folders to the new device, with a USB cable, by Bluetooth, by email, and so on. However, keep in mind that transferring the data doesn't mean the files can be restored into chats. 
But still, this method guarantees you are not going to lose important photos, videos or music. Talking of Telegram, all the main data is stored in the developer's servers. It includes all the information – pictures, videos, photos and chats. It makes everything much easier. Download the app and sign in, and Telegram will retrieve all the history from its servers. In conclusion, I'd like to point out, unfortunately, none of these methods can give you a 100% guarantee that all your data will be restored onto the new device, so be prepared for possible issues. If you'd like to add anything to what I said in this video, you're welcome to leave a comment below. So far, that is all for now. I hope this video was useful for you. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!